hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Fidelis and in this video we are going to continue with the optimization of a typical gravity flow water distribution network supplying pipe names and so before we continue in case you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel I would encourage you to do so and also click both the like and notification buttons you may also wish to make your comments so we are going to use a typical example of a water supply network to illustrate some of the principles of optimization but for us to make this simplified we shall focus on the relationship between the velocity and the pressure and this is what we'll get after we have you know run or run a simulation of the network that we will generate and so for us to start we we'll need to set up the environment and so we go to <clears throat> we go to project click on default and let's start from this dialog box let's look at the id labels and so i'll take my time to add these values to save time and so let's have these features we are not we are actually dealing with a gravity flow so there may be no point uh, introducing pumps and valves and uh, we, we shall leave the increment as one this had been previously explained in a video now let's look at the properties for this video we are going to adopt we're going to leave all these parameters for now but for the pipe roughness now i will come back to this pipe roughness and i will explain now let's go to hydraulics for this video we are going to adopt the metrics system and so we will switch from the gallons per minute to the liters per second now what this means is that all the units will be in SI units and then we are also going to switch the head loss formula from the Hazen Williams to the Darcy Ways back now leaving other parameters as the, uh, the way they are let's go back to properties now because we had we had earlier ad adopted has um, Darcy Ways back now the Pipe roughness will have to change because of the epsilon, and that means that we are going to adopt 0 0.3. 0 0.3. And so after adopting that, we press OK. So before we start setting up our system, we are still going to look at one more thing. And so let's go to preferences and ensure that some of these valuable information are sorted out. So well, let's go to formats. Okay, so our results should be in two decimal places. Then um, let's look at options. And so for this, we are going to. Um, for the nodes, we are going to ensure that these two uh, boxes are ticked because it will be displaying the values of each of the parameters on the screen. And so let's also look at links. Uh, do we need to display border? Let's leave it blank for now. Let's go to labels. So display the math labels for the notation. So we need to display the node IDs 
display the node values, display the link IDs, and also display the link values. Let's go to symbols. So let's leave everything ticked. Let's go to the flow arrows and let's use this field. And let's increase the arrow size. Let's take it to eight. And then background should be left the way it is. Then we press OK. So let's let's solve a typical distribution system. And so I'm going to have gravity flow by introducing a reservoir. And then um sorry, let me go back to the options. So let's increase the font size. Do I need to increase any other thing? Labels. Let's increase the link size. And let's leave it at two. The node size is increased. Let's press OK. <coughs> So um, let's introduce our pipe junctions. Let's have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's introduce our pipes. So I have the, sorry. So um, maybe, so let's repeat that process. So I have this pipe connecting to this. I have another one connecting to this. Another one connecting to this. Another one connecting to this. I have another one connecting to this. I have another one. Going this way, and then let's have this one going this way. Let's have this one going this way. Now you can see that while all these things were being added from our table here, we have all the pipes created. Then we also had a reservoir created. We also had our junctions <coughs> created. Now, let's apportion values. Let's start, or uh, let's do it this way. We shall continue in the next video. Stay tuned.